scary thing is that's the amount of space I've got to work with. These are the inductors and the resistors for the tweeter. So that is just the tweeter. Hmm. Going to have some problems, I say. Base or woofer. Mid and tweeter. Yeah. Going to have to do more than one of these. <laughs> okay, let's try and put these together in ways that are very space efficient. I was also thinking of making a stack, so like have one, two, and three. So the space is fairly high. So for now, let's just start with the, the woofer and the base. So you can ignore everything from here down. Positive in. So the first inductor, the 3.9. So this would be power in here. So right here it comes to this capacitor, which then goes to ground on this side. And then it goes to this capacitor and this resistor over here. I think I can put it in like that. If I just link these two up here. And that'll be this bit here. That also goes to ground. And then I'll just bring up another wire here, which would go to the to the driver. And that'll actually be quite a small package. Quite happy about that one. I was thinking it was gonna be massive, so that's pretty compact. Try and figure out the next one. Unfortunately, of course, that's one, two, three, four components. Which one's the resistor? The mid doesn't look too bad, I suppose. Let me figure something out. Buddy, just looking here, it's got the resistor. Then what's one ohm? It's also a uh, metal oxide, so it's a nice resistor. And this would be uh, power in on that side. This is going to come out. That'll be, there we go, 2.7. Midi Henry on this inductor, then need another inductor which is the 0 0.56 one, which will be oh, that one there. So that's pretty easy. It'll look like that. And then big capacitor, which will look like that. And that's going to carry on to the next inductor, which will be like that. Okay, hopefully I can squash this together more efficiently because currently it's uh, going off the screen to the pencil. Hmm, think about this one. Okay, so it's the first optimization is uh, don't put it like that, but put it like that. Just remove some of this heat shrink and the resistor can come more like this and then the input can be here. So that'll there. Then, let me just check something. Oh, no, just won't fit. Although, ooh, look at that. Even tighter. Now, these two, if they come together much closer, I have to read up on inductors that I believe you shouldn't put them too close to each other. At least without changing the angle by 90 degrees or something. So I think that one and that one are okay, but this one might end up like that. Let's go read up on that though. Okay. Getting smaller, more compact, better. So that's looking a bit better. Basically put my hand over both of them now, one at a time still. 